This is Max Steinberg, and I continue introducing my book, Celestial Science. In the second part of the book, I talk about the nature and structure of the spiritual world. Although I was tempted to focus on what is wrong in our traditional understanding of God and the spiritual world, I decided instead to focus on positive message and to give positive definitions. In the book, I've described from scratch how it is out there. Here, my sources again are the channelers, ancient esoteric science as revealed by Blavatsky and others, and the modern research into past life regressions, near-death experiences, remote viewing, astral projections, and such. Amazingly, much is known and much of good research has been published. The central concept of the modern metaphysics is reincarnation. Of course, it is an ancient concept. It is the basis of Hinduism and Buddhism. Judaism acknowledges it. Early Christians and Jesus knew and often referenced reincarnation. It was removed from the Western culture at later times. Nowadays, the concept of reincarnation and all related wisdom is coming back with the modern channeled messages and the research of the hypnotic regressions. <laughs> The teaching of reincarnation opens the door to a much different understanding of the reality that is accepted in Western culture. Our reality is a virtual reality, like a computer game. But it is a virtual reality of a very good quality, so it's very difficult to manipulate it from inside. The laws of physics work well in our reality, and since we are inside, they seem very real to us. For the higher beings, it's obvious that we are trapped in our illusion. And when they start talking to us via the channelers, they try to tell us how to evade limitations, how to transcend the illusion. But we are perfectly designed and trained to remain stuck in our virtual prison. So the higher beings learn to avoid preaching transcendence. Instead, they learn to preach how to cope and only dream about transcendence. Luckily, things are about to change. So, I promise to give you some positive definitions. Here they go. It's all very simple. Why we are here? The souls come here to obtain experience. That is called incarnation. A soul chooses a body and the lessons for the life. When choosing the lessons, it is advised by personal guides. The soul signs a contract for each incarnation. Consider the earth a school for the souls, or a college, or a boot camp, or an educational computer simulation. It's your choice in which way to interpret the lessons. Our task is to assist our souls in their learning process. That is why we are here. So, the souls come here to experience physicality. When the soul incarnates into a physical body, its mind is split into two parts. Its lower mind is called physical mind, and its higher mind is called higher self. 
the separation window it's like one way mirror we are visible but we can perceive what's beyond the barrier is called the veil <laughs> Most of us live tens of lives. Why do we reincarnate? Why does the soul choose to come back to this world of suffering? This physical life allows the soul to improve and to raise its frequency and to rise to a higher level. Ultimately, the souls reunite with the source. This is their target, their ultimate purpose. Now the source. The source is radiating love and light. It makes the souls out of itself and sends them out to our artificial reality to gain experience. And after tens of incarnations, accepts them back. This is the main idea of God in the celestial science. This understanding of God is not much different from the idea of God in the religion. But there are differences. The main difference is that there is no judgment, no sin, and no punishment. Yes, in the coming new age, there is no sin, no judgment, no punishment. All experiences are equal. The source is eager to learn itself in all possible ways. Thank you for watching a preview of my book, Celestial Science. You can find it on Amazon and on my website, maxstandard.com. This is the end of segment two. Segment three is coming out soon. Check out other videos on my channel and tell me what you think. I wish you peace and prosperity. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.